Hey guys, what's up? I'm CJ and welcome back to my galaxy. Today we are going to be reacting to the new Songbirds and Snakes trailers. I woke up this morning and all I could see was just Songbirds and Snakes as a new trailer, which I was not expecting at all. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't think they'd come out with a second one for wh whatever reason. There's normally two or three, isn't there? I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I've, I've heard that there's the hanging tree in this trailer. Um, I've been, that's the one thing I'm really anticipating about the new movie is hearing the origin story of the hanging tree. I'm not going to give away any more spoilers than that. But that's really not a spoiler, but here we'll, we'll listen to it. Okay. Are we, are we ready? I don't, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. Okay. Okay. I, I've, I've, I've heard, I just saw the beginning of this and that just body falling looks so bad, like bad CGI, not looking forward to the bad CGI, it's like move backwards with technology, I just, anyway. Five. Mr. Snow, after everything you've seen out there in the world. Mm -hmm. What are the Hunger Games for? I'm just gonna go back quickly. What are the Hunger Games for? <gasps> the tree. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. I meant to go back to the dog. Hang on. Because I don't remember that being in. What? I, I don't remember that being in the book. What are the hungry? The dog! Where is the dog from? I do Dog. Dog? Dog. Whose dog is that? I don't rec That's not on the book. I don't think that's in the book. Okay. Someone tell me in the comments below if it is in the book. What are the hunger games for? Rachel Zegler is good. She's good, good at singing. The Hunger Games are to punish the districts. Those tributes don't have a choice. Your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. Oh. Smile. It's why so we Jen? have teeth. Imagine it was your name that they pulled. Oh, there she is. I just want to know that somebody still cared about me. That I was still of value. Welcome to the capital. You look like you shouldn't be here. I shouldn't, but I'm your mentor. A rebel. Oh. Oh, a rebel. Okay, not. I'm not gonna... But I just love... In the, I love that she uses the word rebel and we know present snow snow's history what what got him there 65 years later is that he is not a rebel he's not one but i i find it quite i think the word might be ironic that or yeah i think it's ironic that it that she uses rebel to describe snow and that's not the uh, only time she uses the the um lucy gray uses the word I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, what you want to protect are... people, and it's essential to accept what human beings are and what it takes to control Sejanus. them. <gasps> Sejanus, no, don't do it. Oh, did you see Snow just push back Sejanus? Man. Let's see you use that famous Snow charm. Hang on. I don't recall it being in the books. Personally, I might have forgotten it, but she doesn't have the different eye eye colors. Um, but I think if that's not in the books, it's a good addition. I think that's it's it makes her kind of scarier. If anything, I just I think that's a good addition. I like it. Um, what is her name? Doctor Gall. Doctor Gall. Yep, her appearance. 
You seem like a good man, Coriolanus Snow. I have seen one. Coriolanus? Coriolanus. Coriolanus? Coriolanus. Coriolanus? I've been basing it off of how Sam Claflin says it in Mockingjay. Coriolanus. Coriolanus Snow. Cori I Moving on. War dust to people. Witness the wrath. With the terror of becoming prey. See how quickly we become predators. Oh. Oh, right. I want my enemies to see a rainbow of destruction engulfing the world. You monsters! All of you! Good luck with that poor little songbird. Where is she? It's a mystery. And mysteries have a way of driving people mad. Oh. Mr. Snow, let me ask you one final time. What are the Hunger Games for? it without spoiling the ending but that last clip chills that's gonna make me feel the worst is i'm gonna throw up in the middle of the cinema i swear to god <laughs> oh my god the snakes the rainbow snakes is that part of it is just probably one i don't it's gonna be the coolest scene ever. It's gonna. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. That trailer is even better than the last one. It. But I almost feel like it gives away too much. I'm. I'm just saying. There's nothing about Clemenesia in it though. Um. Interestingly enough, because Clemenesia does become sort of an important part. Um. Uh, what else? Sejanus, man. Sejanus is freaking me out. <laughs> oh, you're monsters, all of you. The moral compass. Like I said in my last video, he is the moral compass. You gotta pay attention to him. Uh, and let's talk about the hanging tree. So that's Rachel Zegler in the background of it. I'm 90% sure because Lucy Gray is the one who sings it because she's the songbird in the novel, um, The Hanging Tree. There's the literal hanging tree in there. Um, where is it? Let me, let me find the hanging tree again. So this is, this is the scene, this is the hanging tree. What it takes to control. Yeah, that's the hanging tree right there. So, let me get it. Yeah, okay. I'm very excited for how they portray the backstory of the hanging tree song. Uh, I think once people watch it, they're really gonna see the um, scenes with Snow and Katniss very differently. I do, that's for sure. I know the fandom does. For the people who have read the books, I think it's, it's very important. The hanging tree is probably one of the more important parts of the novel and I that's the one thing I think they really need to portray correctly and so far you know Rachel Zegler can sing <laughs> I'm very excited about Ra like Rachel Zegler's singing is actually pretty good I've never really seen her act but I have heard her sing in um oh my god West Side Story is that what it's called um her acting, I, I've only seen like clips of it, so I haven't seen her acting so much as her singing. Um, so I, I'm excited to just hear that she's good at singing and she's, the hanging tree chills. Love that. Um, it, the amount of hate that Rachel Zegler's gotten, bro, this is gonna bring her back. I, she better not take the Hunger Games down with that. I, I swear to God, 
I just was like, get on that pier. No, you can't. <laughs> it's the act of strike, man. Okay, hopefully, okay, this is what we're hoping for. Acting strike to end and then Rachel Zegler can come back with a PR stunt or something because Hunger Games, man, her singing sounds so good. I'm very excited about The Hanging Tree. How many times have I said that in this video? The Hanging Tree, very excited. Portrayal has to be good. The Rainbow Snakes are brilliant. Clemenesia, surprisingly, not in this trailer. Sejanus is my favorite character. Tigress, we haven't spoken about uh, Tigress. Tigress, I wonder how many scenes she's gonna get in the film because so far she's not been in so much of the the trailer and she's not, she's also a moral compass in the way Sejanus is, but she's not in as many scenes as Sejanus that I believe, I believe. You know who else we haven't seen? So Tigress and Snow live with their grandmother. I don't think we've seen her either. Um, which is going to be interesting. I can't know if we know who's going to be playing um, the the grandmother, but hopefully it's someone good, someone as good as um, Dean Highbottom and Doctor Gall, because I think they've got some good actors on their on their side. I think that's so good. Once again, the eyes. That's so good. So cool. I also think Peter Dinklage, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Peter Dinklage, he is definitely the right choice because every time I hear him speak in the trailers, chills immediately. It He's going to be so good at acting. I think the cast they've got really seems to be able to act well together. You know, sometimes you get actors that are all good individually but you have to be able to like bring them together act off of each other that sort of thing and i think they're going to be able to do that the same way that the original trilogy did i don't think and i'm no this is no offense to the people who are acting in the prequel but the original trilogy the original four movies you will never top that you can get close i'll give you that credit but you can't top the originals i'm sorry but it's true you can't uh but other than that it seems like an amazing trailer i'm very excited for this to come out i'm already i'm gonna be going on the first day it's at cinemas um and what is it november 17th this is this thanksgiving um we don't do thanksgiving in australia uh, i'm november 17th is in my mind i've already scheduled it in i'm already going to watch it and you all have to deal with it i'm gonna be talking about it constantly and you're you just gonna have to listen to me so if you don't want spoilers don't watch my videos around november <laughs> so that is my last piece of advice a piece of advice for you don't watch my videos leading up or after november 17th if you haven't watched the movie so just yeah um if you like this video if you like this video reaction please like and subscribe down below in the comments section please tell me what your favorite part of the trailer is what you're excited about to see in the movie uh what connections between the original trilogy you would you're excited to see you know there's in my experience lots of connections um to the original trilogy in the prequel book and leave any comments down below of what you'd like to see on the hunger games content i have a lot of different theories i'm going to be bringing out my other analysis videos of um the Hunger Games, the other three Hunger Games movies soon. They just take a while to bring out and make. The last one was an hour and a half. If you liked this trailer, go back to uh, this trailer reaction. Please go back and watch my analysis videos on the first Hunger Games movie. I'd really appreciate it. And that's it. I have been CJ and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.